I got about like 80k ish around there. Where are you getting them? Hey, what's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. The link was your clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. This girlfriend is definitely cheating. Why you look so like iffy? What happened? Go ahead. That's that's your girl. Yeah, that's my girl. Well, that's your boyfriend. Yeah. So how long y'all been dating? Shit. Much. It's been like about six months. Six months? I've been dating for six months. So you trust him? Yeah, you see how you it's trust him? I'm yeah, doing it already. Alright, bet we're gonna put that to the test today. We're gonna switch phones for 60 seconds to see if you guys actually trust each other. Who's trying to go first? I don't know, man. I don't care. We know you was on some bullshit. Alright, her phone first. What do you mean you know I was bullshitting? We already knew, babe. <laughs> I, I, how about I tell you? Huh? I said, how about I tell you? I already knew. Yeah, when was the last time you've been through a phone, though? I've never been to a. You've never been to a phone. Yo, bring I it. I have to. Yo, gang, we're gonna look out for you today. Bring it in. Bring it in. Your phone first. I don't care, but I'm not doing this for your video. You're a victim. Mm. Yeah. I'm not oh. about to do this for your video. Well, what she mean? She not doing it. Cause why? Is, how I know That's already? She didn't know though. It's Gucci. Though. Well, you never been through a phone, King. Yeah, she is so mad she's in this interview, and this boyfriend should immediately know that she's cheating. Honestly, I'm willing to say that he does know, but he doesn't want to embarrass her all over online. And he's like, yeah, I never went through her phone, but that's where usually the mistake is. A lot of you guys think that by not going through your girlfriend's phone, you're going to have a healthy relationship, but does this relationship look healthy? If you don't know the background, OG, why do Say 75. I don't know if you ever seen my chat, watch my stream, if you ever I might, I might tear up telling you the story. I was 16, had a Latina girlfriend, I thought I was a she told me that she had only, you know, two bodies of and I'm one of them. And one day I was on her Twitter and she said her ex was a football player. I went on her Twitter. The recent tweets right before we did it was she said she was going to a basketball game. I said, hold on, this is a multi-athlete? So some of my stuff wasn't sitting right. I had her uh, Twitter password. So I guessed it for her Snapchat password. I opened up her Snapchat password. Okay. She cheated on me with 75 minutes. The same videos. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, listen, listen, let me finish. Yeah. The same pictures and videos she would send me of, you know, no, thing, you know, you know, I be, you know what I'm saying? Pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I would look on her Snapchat. She would send them to 75 other. She cheated on you 75 times? Now, this may be a crazy take, but in my opinion, I think 75 isn't as bad as one guy. Because if she cheats on you with one guy, that means you really like that one dude. But if it's 75 other guys, bro, she's just a 304 and she's just a street worker. Each guy is just less important. I made my last alimony payment this month. It was. You guys were married for eight years? Yeah, so it? in California. It's half the time. It's ha married. Unless it goes to 10 years and then it's indefinite. It's up to the After judge. 10 years. Yep. If we'd been married for 10 years, it would be an indefinite amount of alimony uh, up to the judge. And um, that payment was assessed based on my earnings, of course, but also there were no like stipulations about her needing to work ever. Right, so like hmm. th those payments are coming out, and like she just doesn't have to work, and she hasn't worked ever. So, so, so you paid alimony for four years. Yeah, four years. Yep. Okay. Uh, she didn't work I, the whole time. I no, not since we even got together. Serious? Yeah, even these women are surprised about how the laws work, and this is why I think getting married as a man in America is probably one of the scariest things ever. Because even if it's not your fault and you do everything correctly, you could still potentially lose half of your things on the chances of a coin flip. But here's a great example of exactly what I mean. I'm never gonna get married. I don't want to get married. Why? He can be completely faithful to his wife, provide, protect, take care of the kids, you know, obviously when he's not working, whatever. And the wife can step out and cheat. And what's the result of that? Pay alimony, has to pay child support. Support, huh. loses his house, loses the cars, loses everything. Some Why? What's the point? And then, like, it's a coin flip. Flip, flip a coin if your marriage is going to work. Me. Those are the odds. Those are the, those are the chances. If you want to get married, cool. Throw a wedding, put the rings on each other, say your vows, you're married. Am I alone? The only reason why somebody is not okay being alone is because they're not okay with themselves. Mm -hmm. exactly. I agree. That's it. Like, if you're not okay being alone, you have issues with yourself that you need to take care of. You see, like, a lot more guys are starting to wake up to this fact that getting married is just a big risk. And like this man said, if you guys still want to get married it all that matters is a ceremony you don't need the government to get involved in your lives you don't need a document saying hey you guys are now officially married if you guys want to stay together the rest of your lives and you guys want to get religiously married then do that but getting the government involved is just putting yourself at risk did you fart because you just blew me away can i have your number Check out my brand. Oh. Yeah, this man is suffering from TikTok Riz. I'm not sure why he thought this would work out. Imagine this, being eight months pregnant and the night before your doctor's appointment, your husband takes you out on a nice date, all to end up leaving you the very next morning, 30 minutes before your appointment time. Backstory, I met this man a few years ago and off the jump, he treated me like a queen. He was everything I ever wanted my ex to be. <sighs> Bro, what a thing to say. Yeah, like, I've always oh. acknowledged my appreciation for him and everything he's done. Fast forward, whilst we were on our date, 
I snapped pictures and videos of everything and I sent them to my ex. I shared how I wished it was him who did these things for me, how it was him I should have been pregnant for and how I wished he loved me, how I still love him. Still. And maybe one day we can come back from this. My husband saw these messages. I didn't mean those things. I'm just pregnant and emotional. Shut the f up. <laughs> How can I get my husband back? He's packed all his things and some of mine and he's gone. Facts. Facts. Shut the f up. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? You text your ex saying this could have been us. Yeah. I wish you loved me like I loved you. This baby should be yours. I would <laughs> lose my f mind you man what's even more surprising about this is she decided to write all of this type it up send it and think that someone's gonna come up with an answer for her no one's gonna take your side in this situation and if anything they want you to go through that divorce because you deserve to be divorced you're a horrible human being go to that ex that you were so fond of that you were so obsessed over because now is your opportunity but the only reason she wants her husband is because he probably is more financially off and is probably a better provider but that's pretty much it I'm oh yeah, you're trying to go I'm viral. Sure. You're no, just trying to go viral because it's not no way you passing me. Like, it's not no way. Like, ain't nothing like that, baby. You, no, I'm taking you should not, something wrong with you? No, ain't nothing wrong. With something you. wrong. That's something true. definitely wrong. <laughs> Whoa. Nah, special she thinks entitled attitude. Yeah, seems to me like the bullet's been dodged. <laughs> When he doesn't care that he's not the only one. This is a clear example of when we say players thinking they're bigger than the club. You might be thinking, oh, this guy is so nice. He doesn't even care that I'm talking to other guys. I promise you, this guy is now keeping you on reserves. Mind you, once he's clocked what's going on, you have now just been deranked in his list of priorities. He's acting pretty bothered about the situation. He's saying, yeah, I don't mind. He's still going to give you some minutes. He's still going to give you some game time. But mind you, you're no longer the star of the show. You know, he's found out that you're entertaining other clubs, even negotiating contracts. I promise you, he's going to start looking for bigger and better players than you. So basically what this woman is saying is that she is a side chick. She is perfectly fine with being a side chick for multiple dudes. Why are you happy over that? You think a man's going to have a problem with you just being on his roster while he hooks up with a bunch of other girls as well? No, I don't think so. You're just making it very easy for him. And like this man said, now you just delisted and you're permanently a side chick forever. What's the longest period of time you've seen somebody? A little over a year. Was it on again, off again? Or? On again, off again. A lot. How many times was it off and on? Three times. All three times you ended it? Yes. And then who would go back to the other asking for it back? Him. Why would you end it? Because I would get bored. Why would you come back? Because then I got bored again. <laughs> so when you say you got bored, what does that mean? Do you know the three month rule? You're always excited to see this person and you just want to hang out with them all the time. And then that feeling just slowly saw that on fades TikTok. away. Yeah, exactly. He's too sweet. Too nice. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. So you know how you're only young once and you just want to do like crazy things and you just like want him to grab you in the face and like kiss you one day. But then like he's always like, can I? And it's like, dude, it's so boring. You mean boring. asking for consent? Just like, oh. <laughs> so not only is what she's saying absolutely horrible and disgusting all the women decide to laugh like this is a complete joke i'm pretty sure the only reason they're laughing is because they find it relatable they're probably also in the same boat she's saying some key points oh she gets bored easily i don't like nice guys these are things that every single three or four chick says while they hop from man to man i to know your life but there's a lot of men in here we'll tell you something yeah Please. just growing up if someone called your mom a or a Enough oh. to make you scrap, let alone someone showing oh. your mom busting it open. Are you joking? I love oh, it. That's man. just like, your insecurity, like. Insecure? It's also, how it's can also I be insecure? Your experience. If, 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 what are you talking about? How can I be insecure? Oh. Yo, I'm insecure because I'm pointing out that most so. kids will not want their mom to be busting it open online and people paying to see their mom do. Oh, like most kids don't want that, and you know this. Don't argue with it. How many of us want, want that for, so. for our mother? Insecure? How is it insecure for a kid not to want his mom to do OnlyFans? When what point is that security? She thinks she could just constantly use this word and throw it around, thinking that's still a good way to defend her point. It's not. You look like a complete idiot. Rather, you just shut your mouth and just say, hey, I still want to do OnlyFans even as a mom. I think people, like the, the people, uh, dissolve their marriage. Though. It used to be money. Now, I really believe that social media has changed the entire landscape the wow. of relationships. Mm. The entire landscape. I remember when I started at on divorce court, you never hear about it. Yeah. Now, it's the go-to to feel good device when she's getting on my nerves or right. he's getting right. on my yeah. nerves it i used to have to leave the house to cheat now right. i can cheat on you right. sitting next to you easy right. access. I'm with, it, easy access right. and we are not 
creatures willing to deal with a lot of discomfort. Right. So instead of having the argument with you, I go online, do some subtext, Facebook, yeah. do, you know, a guy from junior high says, hello, who's yeah. not currently getting yeah. on my nerves. Next thing you know. Yeah. Yep. Or there's, there's an error the made. Let's be honest, this is definitely more of a female issue. I don't know a single man out there that has a bunch of women on his phone that the moment he gets an issue with his wife, he could just hit up these other women to get comfort from or cheat with them. It's just not that easy for a guy. But a lot of these people just forget that love isn't about just the good times. It's about the bad times as well. And the moment things are going bad, they immediately need to hop to another person. Like how much does a guy have to make to be with y'all? 300K a year. 600K. 600K. Yeah. Two mil a month. He had to make at least a million a year. A million a year? Yeah. My ideal is what I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna say 150,000. Damn. 150,000? Ooh, and she blew a kiss. All right, do you think you're worth 150,000? No, I think I'm worth way more. Now, if any one of you guys owns a pet store or a shelter, take a good look at these women and remember their faces because they're gonna be coming in, buying a bunch of cats and living alone. With these standards, I'm not sure who would ever cuff them up. When, so, when I first got married- your kids? Two by my wife. Why you say it that way? You know why. Two by. <laughs> I'm, I'm, over, I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming this adversity. You I'm have two by your wife, which means you got some other ones. I have one more. How old is that one more? He is turning two in December. Ah, exceeding, excelling, I and overcoming. I, I, I'm surviving it. Tell I'm, me how you're exceeding, excelling. As a husband? As a husband. I saw, I caught myself sending her just like three three random hearts. And I said to myself, oh, let me see how long I could go on with this heart. Like every day I'm going to add an extra heart. Oh, long story short, I messed up, right? Went 21 days. I, I, I don't know about you, boy. I felt good about 21 hearts. Like straight. This man cheated on his wife, got the other woman pregnant. And one of the steps to rebuild the trust in a relationship, he adding emojis to each text every day. <laughs> You're not supposed to rebuild her trust that you ain't gonna touch other women. This man, he dead serious. He said I made it 21 days. <laughs> Yeah, there's also a lot of men out there that don't deserve the kind of women they have next to them. Just like there's bad women, there's definitely bad men as well. And this guy is easily one of them. What kind of logic is he using right now? Thinking that emojis are gonna somehow fix his relationship. If that woman falls for it, I'm sorry, she's also stupid. Can we go on a date? Can we go on a date? No, I mean, just you're a s worker. I'm no offense, but. And you are. I'm not a s worker. What would you do? Exploitation worker. What does that mean? You would date a woman that would let multiple men have sex with her for free but you will not date a woman that makes a man pay for her to have her because you said you don't date sex workers but you date workers that do it for free when did i say that Nothing this is required. massive levels of cope Love i don't think men should date those other types of women either well they are they're funding our sure. lifestyle too. oh i agree there's a lot of men who have absolutely I no preferences sense. standards or boundaries i just why want to know they? why you wouldn't date a sex worker so you would date uh, a janitor before a Absolutely. I would date a woman who works at a fast food. Surprise. Wait, would you date a guy who works at McDonald's? No, I wouldn't. So wait, you won't date a guy who flips burgers, but I won't date a s worker? What's the actual objection then? <laughs> If this is the kind of woman that doesn't realize that her value isn't correlated to how much money she makes, I know a bunch of men out there, and I would say even most men would rather date a woman that makes nothing, that is complete broke, than one who does OnlyFans and who's completely rich. As long as she's pretty, she gives us peace of mind. That's all we look for. How much money is in your guys' bank account? I got like 500 right now. I'm trying to work as much as I can. It's just hard out here. I got about like 80K-ish around there. Where are you getting that money from? It's like I've been saving and, you know. Saving? What do you mean saving? You work like two days a week. You wouldn't make that much. Unlike you, you don't save your money. Because I spend it all on you. And that's why I get to save. Whether you're saving or not, even over your entire life, you're not getting that much money. Do you not want to like, go further in our relationship? Does that not matter to you? Like, it matters, but I'm not going to spend my money to do it. So you don't care about spending any of your money on me? No. Like I bought you, no, like during Valentine's I, Day, I bought you okay, like yeah, 10 things. You should spend your money on me. Why doesn't it reciprocate though? Because it doesn't. Wow. I can't do so cold. Cold. I treat you for everything. You just, you just don't care. This is crazy. Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. You're just going to make him pay for everything? Yeah. Like, you're just going to make him pay for everything? 
It's that simple. He's the man he should pay. I'm gonna save my own money. Now, I don't think he's mad because she has this amount of money. I think he's just really upset that she never helped him out in the past. While he said he was struggling, there was even moments where he still had to pay and he was still short on money, yet she never offered. You don't want a woman like that around you. What happens if you guys were to get married in the future? Your money is now together. If a woman is perfectly fine with seeing you stress under pressure, especially financial issues and she doesn't want to help you out, that's not a wife. Get rid of that immediately, bro. But anyways, this is my opinion, guys, because that does wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys do want more content just like this, please watch the videos you guys see at the top screen. It doesn't much you know a lot. And see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.